All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodash, that belongs to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citation to all that I can push the word with true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word in calls God and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the Son's name, with the word in calls Jesus, and Recha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. As always, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled birds, the scattered Israelite foreigners, uh, as, as well as the scattered Israelite foreigner, uh, scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm ready to die from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, uh, You Have to Want Wisdom. You see? Hey, you have to want uh, wisdom. You have to want it. You got to want to make time for it. You have to make time for it. You know, you have to uh, set aside time to read. You have to do all these things in order for the Lord to increase you. You know, the Lord, you ain't, you can't just say, I want wisdom and just expect the Lord to just. No, you got to show the Lord that you want it. You know, set aside time to read. Set aside time to, to write the Hebrew. You know, set aside time to do your lessons, watch lessons. You know, take notes and study all this, you know, but hey, you got to want it. <laughs> this Sirach chapter four and verse 11, wisdom exalt of her children and lay hold of them that seek her. You see, you got to seek wisdom. You got to let, you know, you have to seek wisdom. Can't just say, OK, uh, I want wisdom. No, you got to go after it. Right. It says wisdom exalt of her children and lay hold on them that love, that loveth, that loveth lights like it. This rock chapter 4 and verse 12. I'm going to hit verse 11. It says, Wisdom exalteth her children and lay hold of them that seek her. He that loveth life and they that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. So a point back in verse 11, it says, And lay hold on them that seek her. So yeah, wisdom is going to deal with you when it sees that you honestly want want her. So to say Verse 13 What up Norville What up y'all Verse 13 it says He that holdeth her fast Shall inherit glory And wheresoever She entereth The Lord will bless It says They that serve her Shall minister to the Holy One And them that love her It's like And them that love And them that love her The Lord doth love So you have to want wisdom You gotta love wisdom You gotta want to To uh like it you gotta want wisdom man this uh wisdom of solomon chapter 7 verse 27 it says and being but one she can do all things and remaineth in herself she make of all things new and in all ages entering into holy souls she make of them friends of the most high and prophets and as we just read up in that uh uh Sirach 4 and 14 it says and them that love her the lord doth love so that wisdom is going to make you acceptable and, and more lovable in the eyes of the most high you see verse 28 for the most high love of none but them that dwelleth with wisdom so hey you gotta hey you gotta want to get that wisdom it's it's gonna make the most high uh the most high loves none that dwelleth with wisdom you see the Sirach 4 and 15 it says whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations right All right you gotta uh give ear unto her. you got to bow down your neck it says and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely and hey, the scripture say that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation it says uh verse 16 if a man commit himself unto her he shall inherit her and, gen and his generation shall hold her in possession right so you got to commit yourself to her you can't just say you want wisdom and not show that you want it you know you actually got to do it. It says, uh, verse 17. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment with her. With so I can torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. So a hey, wisdom is going to try you before they just give it, you know, before she just uh, unveil a secret to you. She's going to try you. She's going to bring you through some shit to see if you're down. It says verse 18, then will she return the straight uh the straight way into him and comfort him and show him her secrets. 
So then she's going to uh, open up to you. It says, but if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. So you don't want to uh, turn your back on wisdom. Because after that, more demons going to creep in on you. The Sirach 38 and 24 says, the wisdom of a learned man comes by opportunity of leisure. And leisure is your free time or your reading time. So if you want wisdom, you got to have free time. You got to <laughs> sit down and crack open that book. Not that book, but the Holy Scriptures, man. And the Scriptures tell you, uh, hey, in the book of Revelation, blessed is he that readeth. Which goes into understanding, but a hey, reading, you know. Hey, Isaiah, it tells you, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. You see? The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. And he that have little business shall become wise. So, hey, you have to make time. You can't, oh, I, I got to go work 16 hours, but I'm going to go prophesy on Friday and I'm going to be good. No, it's not just prophesying. Hey, you got to have to have study time. That's how you're going to build yourself up. It says, uh, verse 25, how can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow and that glorieth in the gold and the gold and drive of oxen and is occupied in their labors? And whose talk is of bullock So hey how, hey, how can you uh, get wisdom If you're always busy doing something Whether you're working Whether you're, uh, you know, playing video games Or whether you're doing this Hey, how can you get wisdom? You know, you have to, you have to make time You have to, uh, have a, you know, have a reading schedule Get locked in and read And so forth It says, uh, verse 26 He giveth his mind to make furrows And is diligent to give the kind father it says, verse 27, so every carpenter and workmaster that labor of night and day and they that and they that cut and grave seals and are diligent to make great variety and get themselves to counterfeit imagery and watch to finish a work. Verse 28, the smith also sitteth by the anvil and considering the iron work, the vapor of the fire waste of his flesh. And he fighteth with the heat of the furnace, the noise of the hammer and the anvil is ever in his ears, and his eyes look still upon the pattern of the thing that he maketh. You see, hey, all these other people, you know, in their professions, they put in work and they pay attention, you know. He set up his mind to finish his work and watcheth to polish it perfectly. Verse 31, all these trust to their hand and everyone is wise in his work, right? Verse 32, without these cannot a city be inhabited and they shall not dwell where they will nor go up and down. You see, so you need certain people to do certain things. Hey, as the scriptures say, the, uh, the uh, spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Roughly paraphrasing. You see, hey, 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 you need prophets and you need uh, you need carpenters, you know. Hey, if you're a man of the Lord, hey, you need to have uh, you need to make time to get this wisdom. You got to want the wisdom. Right. It says, uh, verse 33, they shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit in a congregation. They shall not sit on the judge's seat, nor understand the sentences of judgment. You see, hey, you're not going to look to, uh, you know, a regular Joe, you know, uh, for, for, for counsel, you know. And back in the ancient world, the prophets, hey, they were esteemed higher than kings. You see, it says they cannot declare justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken. It says, but they will maintain the state of the world and all their desire is in the work of their craft. You see, uh, if your mind is on a, on things outside of the scriptures, then hey, that's that's where that's where it's going to remain at. You're not going to be able to do too much because that's what you're going to be worried about. Hey, it says uh, they will maintain the state of the world and their desire is in the work of their craft. And hey, we being a men of the Lord, hey, our craft is these holy scriptures. So that's what we got to put our time and energy into. Sirach 39 and 1, but he that give his law to the, it's like it, but he that give his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. You see, you have to give your mind over. You see, you can't just be half stepping. No, you got to give your, give your mind over to, to, uh, to studying, to reading, to watching videos, going out there and prophesying, reading precepts for breath. You got to do these things. Because that's how you would be increased. Proverbs 2 and 1. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thy ear into wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. You have to apply it. You know? You got to put your mind to it. You got to tell yourself, you know what? 
I want to be I want to be more mighty. I want to get more uh, understanding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and read this. I'm going to go and uh, watch it break down on this. I'm going to go do this and do that. Right. Verse three. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lift up thy voice for understanding. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her, for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. You see, you got to seek her as silver. You see, Jay go and chase the bag. How about go, going to go chase the wisdom? It says, Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lift up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. So you got to you gotta go out your way. You got to be Russian man, you know. Hey, 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 wearing out the uh doorsteps of the men of the Lord, you gotta do that, man, if you want that increase. Sirach 6 and 22 for wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifesting to many. You see, we got the word, we got the, the only wisdom that matters in our in the world, and the Lord have opened our hearts to be able to receive it. So hey, we gotta seek it even more. Verse 23: Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel. And put thy feet into her feathers and thy neck into her chain. This is talking about wisdom. So you got to bow yourself down to wisdom. Verse 25, uh, bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds. So, hey, don't, you know, hey, don't be upset, you know. Because, uh, yeah, hey, where's it going to try you, man? Verse 26, come unto her with thy whole heart, which is your mind. And keep her ways with all thy power. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And then thou, it says, and when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. So search and seek, and she's uh, she okay. You trying? He trying to get the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. He come to camp, you know. He watching lessons. So I'm gonna deal with him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him this nugget. I'm gonna give him this breakdown, this understanding. Okay, now you got the understanding. I I see you want some more. I bet. Here you go. Here goes some more. And you don't let it go. It says, verse 28, for at the last thou shalt find her rest, and that shall be turned to thy joy. So then you're going to understand, you're going to get that more full of understanding. You're going to, oh man, the scriptures is beautiful. Then it's going to become that comfort place, which it already is, of course. Verse 29, then shall her feathers be a strong defense for thee, and her chains as a robe of glory. Because those feathers, you know, those bonds, they're going to turn into glory. It's going to turn into uh, benefits, you see? Sirach 6 and 30 For there is a golden ornament upon her And her bands are purple lace Thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor And thou shalt put her about thee as a crown of joy You see my son if thou wilt Thou shalt be taught And if thou wilt apply thy mind Apply thy mind Thou shalt be prudent <laughs> So hey, it's an effort that has to be uh, Issued Verse 32 my son if thou wilt, thou shalt be selected. Verse 33, if thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. So if you love to hear, hey, you got two ears. You always hear in the world. You got two ears and one mouth for a reason. It says, if thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. And if you bow your head, which means you say, okay, I'm going to listen. I'm going to take notes. I'm going to do these things. You're going to get that wisdom. Verse 34, stand in a multitude of elders and cleave unto him that is wise. So you got to be around the men that have the understanding. Be willing, verse 35, be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. So don't be trying to speak too much. Just take, just take all them gold nuggets in. Keep them to yourself. Verse 36, if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be, be times unto him and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. And hey, hey, if you're surrounded by the, by the men of the Lord, hey, take advantage of them. Verse 37, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of Yahweh and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thy own, at thy own desire. So, hey, if you go ahead and just deal, you see, and, and let your thoughts and let everything you, you want be according to the Holy Scriptures, hey, the, it says, uh, verse 37, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of Yahweh and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart. So hey, the Lord see you putting that effort up. He's going to say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and break this nugget, this understanding off to him. Right? 
It says, he shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thy own desires. This uh, Sirach 39 and 2, he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. That's, this is what happens when you give your mind to the law of the Most High. Verse 3, he will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversing in dark parables because now you're going to get that deeper understanding. Verse 4, he shall serve among great men and appear before princes because wisdom is going to give you that, that increase, that boost. He will travel through strange countries for he have tried the good and evil among men. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord that, that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. Verse 6, when a, good, when a great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. It says, verse 7, he shall direct his counsel and knowledge and in his secrets shall he meditate. He shall show forth that which he have learned and show glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord. So after you go ahead and you apply yourself to get that knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Then you're going to actually apply it and use it. And it's going to show uh, via your works, you know, how you conduct yourself. Verse 9, many shall command his understanding. And, uh, and so long as the world endureth, it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not depart away. And his name shall live for generation to generation. Nations shall show forth his wisdom and a congregation shall declare his praise. Proverbs 2 and 6. And hey, if you if you need the wisdom, hey, hey, pray to the Lord. Ask him. The scriptures tell you that. Hey, prop, matter of fact, James 1 and 5. If any man is like, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the most high that give to all men liberally and upbraid of not. And it shall be given him. So he asked the most high. Get down on your knees. Face the east. Praise to the Lord. Ask him to increase you, give you more understanding, give you some understanding. Help me. Hey, what I used to do when I used to read, I used to ask the Lord, about, you know, please help me understand this. Please help it resonate with me. See? It says, verse 6, but let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavered is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. It says, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So, hey, you got to ask the Lord. And having in your mind that the Lord is going to do it uh, regardless. Proverbs 2 and 6. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. So hey the Lord. He'll give it to you. But you got to want it. How do you show that you want it? You studying. You reading. You writing. You know. You out there on the highways and byways. And you doing your part. You doing your due diligence. This is Proverbs 2 and 7. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. So hey man, you gotta get you gotta want to get this wisdom, and when you get that wisdom, then you're gonna understand judgment. You see? So hey man, you gotta you gotta put toward effort, man. You can't just be twiddling your thumbs, man. You know? Lord willing, this is just an edifying lesson called Lion Block. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah Kodash. It belongs to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citation to all the I can push over with true charity, with charity. Shalom, Barakatam, and a Bible ball.